we call each other? Well, we can always start with Mrs. Crawford and Lady Granton. <laughs> No, this time it's the flower show. I've been to all Mr. Mosley's garden, and his roses are the most beautiful I've ever laid eyes on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> you may not know it, but I believe the committee feel obliged to give you the cup for best bloom as a kind of local tradition. No, no, I don't know that. I thought. I usually won the prize for best bloom in the village because my gardener had grown the best bloom in the village. Yes, but you don't usually win, do you? You always win. Yes, I have been very fortunate in that regard. <laughs> but surely when Mr. Mosley's garden is so remarkable and he is so very proud of his roses, you talk of Mr. Mosley's pride. What about my gardener's pride? Is it to be sacrificed on the altar of Mr. Mosley's ambition? <laughs> All I am asking is that you release them from any obligation to let you win. Why not just tell them to choose whichever flower is best? But that is precisely what they already know. And to do, 